This will be picked up by Amos Roberts. Great pressure there by the Wigan defence. It really didn't turn out to be a very good kick from the, the hooker, Lestrange. Good tackling, though, there, Steve McNamara, the Bradford Bulls coach. And we saw uh, Michael Maguire watching from behind the post away to our right-hand side just a few minutes ago. It does look, if you take a look at the flags above the stand, that Wigan do have the win behind them in this uh, first half. Obviously, it helps when they're kicking the ball. Sometimes those passes have to drift forward, and it can be a detriment to the side if they want to shift it around. Stuart Fielden brought to ground. Six grand finals in seven seasons in his time here with Bradford. Sam Tompkins hoists the kick. That's got the win behind it. Well, Pat Richards is after it. The ball has hit the deck. It went backwards. It went backwards again. And Wigan have come up with the possession. Great Roberts work. was the first man to react, and here is Harrison Hansen driving it in now for the Wigan Warriors. Well, it's no surprise that Michael Maguire, the Wigan coach, and they've got him for offside. Now then, will they take the easy two? I think they might. Well, with a man like Pat Richards in the side, they possibly will. No, oh, they're no, going to tap, tap it and run it. And here goes Coley. Just saying, Eddie, it's not surprising that Michael Maguire would have told his players, you've got to kick to this youngster, Jason Crooks, out there on the wing. Thomas Lulawai fires the pass to Roberts. It goes wide, and that's a great try for Daryl Golding. Came about from that mistake. It was a beautiful kick by Sam Tompkins, but look how they've sucked in Reardon. Reardon just drifts in off the whitewash and says, thank you very much indeed. Ben Hall plays the ball, Orford kicks the ball deep downfield, but Four. Richards was, uh, Roberts rather, was there positioned perfectly and he's through the first three, four, five defenders. It's great footwork from him. Halley can't stop him either. Well, this, I was going to say, if he got over the line, that would have been the try of the season, the try of the decade, maybe. A weaving run. Lulawai. We can win the wrong way. They were really caught out wide with the balls on that their right-hand side. Wigan's left as they attack. They're going that way now with Sam Tompkins. He brings it back up the middle. Tompkins gets the ball away, and it's Harrison Hansen. And Harrison Hansen gets the second Wigan try. But it's all down to Roberts's run. Certainly was superb. It wasn't the best kick, as we mentioned, and that is poor defence. They just let him through, and as Eddie mentioned, if it had gone in for this, it would have been the try of the decade. It was unbelievable running. They come back in the end. Reardon was the man, but watch, the first time Sam Tompkins has asked the question of the Bulls' defence. Was it slightly forward? It's hard to say from this angle. And Saints went on and won the match by 38 points to six. Uh, after that, they've uh, beaten Castleford, they've beaten Salford, and uh, I think that uh, Steve McNamara must have thought that the horror days were behind him. Uh, well, they've uh, not enjoyed the opening 45 minutes here so far tonight. Simple fact, already, if they don't have possession, you, you can't win the game of rugby league. They've lacked possession, they've lacked field position, and that was mainly due to the fact that they did struggle against that strong win, but as of yet, they've only utilised it once in the second half. They're on halfway here. Oh, that's a good ball to Craig Kopjak, and an even better ball to Godwin, and here is Carney, and Bradford gets the first score of the second half. And it's a fine try as well. Back on the inside to Hall, and good support by Godwin. As every hooker should do, he's got the pace as this fella, Greg Carney. But it's the inside pass there from Orford. Hall came at it nice, kept their cool, panicked a little bit in the first stanza, but not on that occasion. It was a silly error in that first half that uh, certainly didn't lift their spirits. And for once tonight, the home crowd are cheering. Godwin. Yes, yeah, suddenly the Bradford supporters have found their voice, you're right. And that's Orford, and here is Warrency. A lot more urgency as well in the Bradford play. Trying to get on with it. Uh, Wayne Godwin adds a lot of sparkle, doesn't he, at, uh, at the dummy half position. Kopjak, the Welsh international, plays the ball. Here is the try scorer, Carney. That's the last tackle. Quick play the ball. Orford comes back this way, Orford! Try for Orford! Or is it? Referee having a very close look, and he gives the try. 
legally as far as I could see. This is Jason Crooks, good strength from the youngster. He was committed. Now it's Whitehead for Bradford. They've got to find that spark there of the balls. Maybe the chip over the top, just something a little bit different. Langley. Good run from Langley, great run from Langley! Not much support there, though. That was a problem. He was spinning in the tackle. They should have been right close to him. This is Glenn Hall who'll drive it in. Tackle number four is completed for Bradford. They're ten metres away. It's with Lestrange. Cut out pass and finds Orford. Orford! Great try! Second one for Matt Orford. Bradford suddenly have the sniff of something. And it's an amazing stat to think that this man is more noted for being the creator, not the scorer. And yet, he has taken on this Wigan defence twice. Langley, superb run. That's what set it up. And then, he said, I'll take you on again. Try number two, throws the dummy. But it's getting to that point now where Bradford realise it's... Uh, they've got to try something different. They've, they've just got to test their arm. This is Nero for Bradford. That's three tackles gone. They're still shy of halfway. Lestrange. Glenn Hall, Orford. And this is Kopjak. We've been smothering the man in possession. Not only that, Eddie, they're trying the technique of being able to hold them down. Carney. They're getting there in numbers, but just spin him. Don't let him get that quick play of the ball. Did he drop that then, Carney? Looked like it. Up it goes off the boot of Sykes. Spiralling around. Robert Safer's houses and away from Halley. They did this. Oh, he's dropped it. Chance to break. If he'd have got that straight away, Reardon could have squeezed in at the corner. Just he couldn't get it out there quick enough, could they? Here's Dave Halley, Bradford fans, ball's gone backwards. That's gone backwards, yeah. They're going berserk here. The home fans. He looked all over at half-time. Can Bradford snatch this? It's home! He's had a fine game, but this was the moment where Bradford realised they tried to get the ball out wide, he didn't bubble around for Reardon, and then Hall, he just crashes over. They are going mad on the stands here and on the terrace in, and what a time for the big fella.